how in the world can you be normal weight and yet obese at the same time? It may not seem possible, but a recent article we saw in the Wall Street Journal is really stirring up quite a debate, Juju. We've been debating well, this. Well, Robin, you know that we are a culture obsessed with that number on the scale, right? And we tend to categorize people as obese or normal weight. Well, it turns out a good chunk of those people who are normal weight, roughly 30 million people in all, may still be at risk of obesity-related diseases. This is a new body fat analysis test. Woohoo! Look at that blubber fly! Yes. Homer Simpson may have been on to something. Nurse, cancel my one o'clock. Your body fat percentage is a red flag, pointing to risk factors of obesity no matter how much you weigh. Monica Sumter learned that the hard way. She lost 50 pounds, torturing herself by running five or six times a week. But what's worse, she discovered that even though she reached a normal weight for her height, her ratio of fat to muscle was still high. I was just shocked. I, I thought that it was a lot lower, and I thought that I was healthy. Increased body fat's not just about vanity. It can be a telltale sign of something far more serious. A new Mayo Clinic study followed 6,000 Americans over nine years, and it's revealing some surprising numbers. A staggering 20 to 30 percent of people considered normal weight still have an alarmingly high percentage of body fat. For example, a five foot eight woman like Monica, weighing 140 pounds, is in the normal range for body mass index. But if 42 of those pounds are made up of fat, she would actually be considered normal weight obese. And that means a higher risk of obesity related diseases like diabetes and the number one killer of women, heart disease. Particularly women with normal weight obesity were more like two, two times more likely to die than women with low fat and normal weight. Researchers estimate that as many as 30 million Americans may suffer from the long term effects of normal weight obesity. Monica changed her workout and reduced her body fat percentage. Resistance training is the key. And though she weighs 20 pounds more than her lowest, her body fat percentage is now down to 14 percent. I even participated in a figure competition to, to celebrate my success. I'm going to start. Okay. We asked researchers at St. Luke's Roosevelt to measure my body fat. Trust me, I was dreading the answer. The things I do for GMA. My body mass index is right on the line between normal and overweight, far from obese, but my body fat percentage puts me at risk. For a woman of my age, Age, the range of acceptable is 23 to 35 percent. Mine is 37. So on some level, this study points to people like me who need to be aware of their body fat. And I didn't need to take a full body scan to know that I'm out of shape and I need to exercise. Yes. And I think most people probably have a good sense of their own bodies as to whether they are out of shape. What's more, it's not just the percentage of body fat, it's the fat distribution. For all of us, belly fat is more dangerous than the fat we have on our tush, that's the technical term, or the thighs. <laughs> um, now, doctors recommend we don't rush out and get our body fat tested because of this study. Instead, just look at your waistline. They said if you've got belly fat, those love handles, then it's a good sign that you may be slightly in that dangerous sure. category in the long term. Right. I mean, Dr. Marie was just here, I think it was last week, the week before, we are talking about a, a little fat here and there, not in the belly, is actually okay for you, but it's the it's the belly fat. But the apple shape versus the, the pear, pear shape. shape. Exactly. Exactly. Not all diets are created equal. No, absolutely not. And what they're saying is it doesn't matter what you look like in the mirror. This is not a vanity issue. No. This is an issue of how much body fat you carry around and in what part of your body. Our executive producer was saying he's a tall lean guy mm -hmm. and his doctor pointed at his belly and said you know you could stand to lose a little there but you wouldn't think that looking you at would look at him and you'd say you are healthy all of your you know mm -hmm. your blood cholesterol all that stuff is healthy but you need to keep an eye on it and yeah. it's common sense is what these doctors are saying it is Juju. thanks for bringing that to our attention do you have normal weight obesity you can find out at our website at abcnews.com